Hi everyone, welcome to my little mosquito proof, rain proof she shed. Um, my next project is going to be working with these wood pieces here. They're pizza pieces actually. I had this crazy idea that I wanted to do a mosaic pizza. But then when the wood things came in the mail, Oh, and I also had the vegetables already here for the pizza, so when I get to that, that'll be fun. But my next project I'm going to do is a white cake, just a white cake top, I guess it will be, using a lot of my white shards and flowers and pearls. The first thing we need to do is seal these wood pieces and I'm using a kind of thick mixture of uh, wood glue and water and I'm actually going to be sealing these several times because the wood is so thin. Okay here are my eight little tiles just loosely put together and of course I've got way too much stuff to fit on the cake pieces but better safe than sorry. You don't want to run out of materials and then have to quit and go looking around in your house for more dishes to break. My adhesive is mastic or tile adhesive and I'm piling it on quite thick for these floral pieces to be able to set. I'm going to try to support this flower with some big pieces. Some people use tweezers to set their pieces into the adhesive, but I feel like I have more control using my fingers, as messy as it is. I have sped up this recording a little bit. I'm actually going very, very slow. I want the sides straight so that the whole cake fits together as one.
And again, the beauty of mastic is that you can use big pieces or thin, thick pieces or thin pieces. It's just a matter of how much you push down. Okay, so I have eight more pieces to do, so I'm going to speed things up really fast here. Most that you need to know is in that first slice. When you use pearls for your mosaics, be sure they're fairly new. Don't use antique pearls because those have a coating that comes off during the grouting process. I love putting a back stamp piece in my pieces. Always experiment with some of your bigger curved pieces. We have a severe storm moving in, so I'm going to have to step up the pace just a little here. Okay, so here are my finished pieces. Looks like there's some fine tuning that needs to be done so that they'll fit together and meet at the center. Okay, it's grouting time now. Um, I'm using unsanded white grout. It has a real sticky consistency. So it's really important to get the bottoms and sides scraped in. And I'm just going to spoon this over it a little bit. And I'm not going to cover the flower. Just way right up to the edge of it. Really concentrate on those edges. Now, uh, I want to point something out here. This is one of the fundamentals of my, the way I do this. The mastic or tile adhesive that I used is white and the grout is white. I try to have those two substances match in color so that if 
some of the mastic peaks up like here and here, it's not so noticeable. You have less than an hour drying time on this grout and the more you can get removed when it's wet, the better. Okay, so this is pretty much done. I will put some plastic wrap over the top of it to slow down the drying process because I'm going to be going back to it again and again and fixing little problems. Also, if you dry it too fast, that's one of the uh, things that can cause your grout to crack. Okay, so they've all been grouted and wiped back somewhat. So now I'll probably be spending the rest of the day working on these and getting all of the grout out and filling in any extra little holes. What you want to do is always pour a little bit of grout into a little Dixie cup that you can mix up later to fill in any little holes. Okay, I've worked about two hours finishing these pieces up and uh, they're looking pretty good, but there are some very dangerous sharp edges that I'm going to file down. And here is the finished piece. I didn't get it so that they meet at the center and I decided not to try any harder because it might be cool to just put something in there. Like I just have those loose flowers, but you could possibly do a votive candle or, you know, anything you want that would fit in there. I will be putting these project uh, mosaics up on my Amazon page. And I'll probably do a uh, sale on these if you watch the YouTube video. You get, say, 25% off what it is on Amazon. And I think the code for this one will be CAKE, C-A-K-E. Thank you for watching, everyone.